welcome to the Anne Ellis Angels YouTube channel. And here are your readings for the coming week. These are general readings. So take from them everything that resonates with you. Leave anything else behind. And I wish you a most successful and enjoyable week. I will be using my teacup tarot deck and my time to shine oracle deck as well. Scorpio, welcome to your reading for this week, starting the 25th of December. And I'm using all my decks this week, the Teacup Tarot, Time to Shine Oracle, the Mini Mindfulness and Mini Messages Oracle. So let's see what the cards, what messages the cards have for you this week. And your overall energy here is the Strength card, which is lovely because this says you might need to be assertive. And that's absolutely fine, so long as you use kindness alongside it, and that will get you a lot further, a lot faster. Your help or your hurdle, the six of pencils, is about moving on and feeling good. So you might just be standing up and saying, this will suit me well, and getting your movement forward in a new direction underway. Your guidance here, the Four of Pencils, says think it all through. Just rest, relax, put your feet up, have a break. This is a card of rest and relaxation. Now, sometimes when we do that, we think nothing is happening. When in fact, everything is happening. Because we're leaving space. And in that space, we can be more open to new ideas and new inspiration and prompts from the universe. How can we help ourselves? The nine of wands says, keep going, stay motivated, stay determined, don't give up. This is the card of persistence and determination. Pulling it all together, the six of teacups is a card of the past. So it's remembering the past with love but also it's doing what you've always wanted to do. Now on the card, look, she's remembering when her little dog here was a tiny puppy. And now look, they've won the championships. She's realizing how far she's come. She's realizing how well she's doing. And that's just a lovely energy that you need to embrace this week. Your final outcome card, the Eight of Teacups, is about taking steps forward, literally one step at a time. Now, the card here, look, she's poised at the edge. Her sight's clearly set on success. But how to get there? One step at a time. Everything doesn't have to be done in a giant leap. And if she just steps onto this first stepping stone, the next is right in front of her and so on, right across. So small, manageable steps moving you forward. We were talking about moving forward here and this card says, yes, do it step by step. So let's get a little bit more information from the Time to Shine deck. The Eight of Action says it's going to get busy. Busy new energy coming in. It's the end of delays and lots going on at once. The Ten of Thoughts says it's time for you to move on. This is lovely next to this card here. Be happy and enjoy things as they get better. So a much improved situation coming in. The Nineteen of Wisdom is lovely. This is the Sun card in traditional tarot. This is time to enjoy success, happiness and joy. This is the success after you've been busy and you've put in the hard work. Here is the success showing up. And it also reminds you to act on those brilliant new ideas. Talk it over, work in groups, have a discussion, everybody around the table with a quality cup of tea, working well together, exchanging ideas and working out the best way to move forward. And here's your opportunity, the one of life. 
opening the doors to new opportunity and enjoying new abundance coming in. This is lovely. This could be a new job, a new career, a promotion, pay rise, new area of study, something you've been working towards, something you've been working hard on. And here's the opportunity. Here's the success. And the nine of action, double message, focus on self-belief, focus on self-support, stay motivated and keep going. So let's just look at the mini messages. Message, balance, unnecessary worry, avoid all self-criticism, support yourself, accept yourself and keep moving forward. No need to worry. And your mini mindfulness wings. Trust your angels, spread your wings and fly. So trust. That's one of the hardest things I think we're ever asked to do when we can't see the outcome we want yet. But trust and know it's on its way. So let's look at the reading overall, your mindfulness homework, a double message of determination, persistence and keeping going. Stay motivated. Be assertive. Say what your needs are. Do so with kindness and love. You'll get a lot further, a lot faster. Take time out to rest, relax, meditate. Just this is where the answers can be found because new opportunities coming in for you. Time to do what you've always wanted to do. It may be involved in negotiation, talking things over. It is very much a card of teaching and mentoring because there's a strong energy here of a movement forward. Delays being over, suddenly moving forward, the situation getting better and the success is right here waiting for you. You just need the determination, the motivation to keep going. Trust that things will work out as they need to. So stay assertive, looking out for this wonderful opportunity to do what you've always wanted to do and be ready to embrace this movement forward and the success will surely follow. So Scorpio, thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. It's free, just click the button. Thank you for doing that. So have a lovely week, take care of yourselves and I'll see you here again soon.